we get something special today. It's right over there. Stick around. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton's Speed Shop. Do you just move it? <laughs> no, it's right here. Mm -hmm. It's right there. So we actually were contacted by Banggood about uh, testing the product for them. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do it right now. We have to put it together, though. Stick around. You might say to yourself, Chad, that box looks pretty big. You have a small shop. What possibly could it be? Well, I'll tell you. It's a workbench. It is a 48 inch workbench. There is going to be a, dis there's going to be a link in the description below where you can find the workbench. Um, it is a 48 inch workbench and uh, it's pretty cool. How do I know it's cool? Well, send me a picture. Come on. Your shop shears. And yeah, you know. Yeah. That, right? Cut, yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let me get in there and cut this one. Cut that one. It cuts it all, man. I don't care. Another show. All right, so here we go. That's pretty cool. I'm going to struggle to bust this to open. Show you in a minute. All right, so here's what we have, right? We have a box, some legs, yep, and a top. Now this one does also come with metal paperwork. Paperwork. Uh, it looks like there's four of them. Now, Paint is really nice on these. Yeah. Right there, so you're not taking up. That's folded over nice in the back, so you got space. First sturdy. We'll be messing with those after a bit. Let's just let's get those back up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this. Come on. Okay. All right. Need some serious hardware. A little less serious hardware. Feet. Faster score. Pegboard. We'll talk about those after a bit. Now, 
this does actually adjust the length um, all the way up to, I think it's 39 and a half inches. We'll be going over the specs here after a little bit. You guys are probably saying, Dad, who cleans up when you throw stuff everywhere? You're looking at them. All right, the other cool part is that, check this out. Got a little power strip. Protector and everything. Um, compliant with FCC rules. Part 15 of them. Part 14, no, 15, you betcha. Okay, so we're gonna find the destructions. I'll bring you back around. Found the destructions. The other thing that we found, there's a second shelf, stretchers, and then check out this pad. It's pretty cool. First things we're gonna do, learn how to read. Hope there's pictures. drill. I feel pretty good about what I'm doing here. Step one. Install the power socket. Hope it says where. Oh wait, it's probably in the thing. So, you guys can't see, but that's okay. That's all right. Like yo, and then we'll put two screws in there. Bolts, like it says. Um, after we do that, and then it says to put the extendo legs on, right? So, guys this see over there just like peas and carrots like that then the bolt big one goes right through there we gotta jam that okay from there what's step two oh step one let's do that on both sides Step two is uh, attach the beams, which are these guys. These guys. Step three is adjust the height of the workbench. Step four, attach the top. Step five, assemble the two tier storage board, which is down there, right? And then step six, the feet. And then installing the pegboard is on the wall. So now that you know what's happening, I'm going to um, start doing some stuff. We'll bring you back around uh, randomly to see how it's going. Questions, concerns? Okay. Last chance? No? Good. You're going now. Um, this was, uh, it shipped at 90 pounds. So, best to have two people. I had that. That's my other person. If you don't have a two-wheeler, you should get one. And if you have a two-wheeler, get one that converts to a four-wheeler. Bam, that's fantastic stuff. So, let's get after it. Okay, so I got the box out, we got everything out, right? Now, the other thing I need to do is I need to find a spot for it. Now, I've got a couple of options. One, over there, right? There's an outlet right there. Two, it's right here. Three, it's right here. 
four, maybe over here, <laughs> five. So I need to do before we get fully, you guys smell creepy? Before we get fully underway here, we will need to determine where it's gonna go. Hey kids, we're back. And we're working on a workbench, yeah. Um, so I, uh, I got a few things put together and there's gonna be a link to the product down in the thing, you know. Anyway, so this is actually really cool. Uh, as I put it together, I mean, I'll tell you what, it's, it's very, very easy to put together. I mean, you can see, I just kind of got things loose. I mean, things kind of just go in one place, right? So that's actually really, really cool. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm actually just uh, going to tighten up the um, power strip on here. And uh, it comes with this. We don't need that. I'll tell you that right now. I don't like those. I think that they're not... They're not super helpful for what you got going, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to do the thing here. Uh -huh. First try. That was a that's a nine thirty second. And then I need a Phillips screwdriver. I think I'd be ready. I'm going to try every drawer until I find a Phillips screwdriver. Mm hmm yeah, okay, mm hmm yeah, yeah, why not? Here we go, little guy. All I'm doing, it's, it's got a lock nut on it, so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it down. And once I get them all tightened up, I'll bring it back and we'll start putting this thing together. All right, so did that, that was fun. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start putting this together with the, um, crossbars. I mean, pick it up and put it down here, kids. Now these are a hex, Allen key, whatever you wanna call them. And there's already a pre-existing like rib nut in there so that's pretty fun now i've left the legs loose because in case i want to um, change the height or something it'll make it easier for me plus it does say in the instructions to do that so i'm gonna do get that one in there Now the feet really just bolt, a nut, and the feet. It's very easy to put together with those. So I didn't show that. It's literally put the bolt through. Read the instructions, you can't mess that up. But you might say, but Chad, what if I mess it up? Well, then I'd say, you know, my pencil's had eraser, you know? This is very easy to do. I did, you know, look at the instructions. And now I would say that following the instructions is a good idea. Because... You know, it does limit your chance of making a mistake. But, then again, that's how we all learn, making mistakes. Plus, it gives you the parts list and all that cool stuff. Now, the, it does come with three uh, pegboard panels. And um, they're 16 inches. No, they're 32 inches. 
if I'm wrong. <sighs> Sorry. I'll be putting, I'll be doing all the specs on it here as we get, as we get going. So we've just got the bolts in place. And then you're going to get your good old fashioned, what do you call it? Allen key set. You can get yours from anywhere. Hey, how's it going? You can get yours from anywhere. And then just kind of snug them up. I'm not making them super tight. Because, you know, at least you gotta wiggle something around. Now these Allen wrenches, or Allen keys, the text keys that I have, they're not great. That's all I'm gonna say about that. We just gotta snug them up. Go snuggy. Don't be doing that. Don't be giving people snuggy. You can't even see what I'm doing. You gotta stay stuff, man. We're just snugging them up. Look at this. All right. Now, next is the top. We do have this one. We could put this one on right now, but it'll be going out of order. But, you know what? You ever met? You ever met us before? On a Facebook we chat? We don't. We don't always follow the order of things. Right? Should we? Yeah, probably. And these have longer bolts. They just go right in the rib nut area. Like that. Why you even loose is so you can adjust it around, right? Jeremy? Yeah? Okay, cool. Now I know I told you I was gonna clean up and put it some put this somewhere, but I got I got excited and I wanted to put it together, so here we are. Um we're just gonna tighten these down. I'll bring you back in a minute. I want to show you here on the back or on the bottom of this it says installation side or surface. This is the part you go to put down like that. Okay. Like that. Now you probably know how to use tape measure, you know, and get her. You know, I mean, it's going to move, right? So, I'm going to give me some power tools, kids. I'll be right back. All right, so there are hole, pre-drilled holes on the bottom of this. Now, it does suggest you do it like that, but by myself. So, I opted to do the, this way, you know, the harder way. And then you just... So there we go. Yeah, that's all right. So now there are some. Uh, let me show you those pegboards. Pegboards. Like I said, there's three of these. You know, maybe you can try to. You know, you can probably try to figure out how to mount them on the back or up along the wall. But I mean, there's, I'll show you, it's dirty. Now there are some troubleshooting things that they put in the book. Now that is, okay. troubleshooting, if it shakes, tighten it up, so it says. Basically, and sell the correct screws in the correct spots 
and tighten them. And if some reason there's a screw that's not, you know, the one that's in here is bad, replace it with one of the uh, <laughs> spares they give you. Easy. Now, I don't... Oh, yeah. I've got a couple more screws to put in on the top, but I wanted to show you uh, that stuff first. So, let's get these last couple in here. Oh yeah, see? Tighten her right up. No, I'm not kidding. Oh, on that side. All right. Yeah, much better. So, all that's left to do, put your mat on here, and that covers the whole thing, man. Let me check that out. Let's get you in here for a, an up close and personal. It's a new work. Now, the other thing that I want to mention is that <clears throat> this is fully adjustable right here, right? I took my good old tape measure and I measured, I have it on the highest one, it's 39 inches. And it does adjust six inches down to 33. So that's pretty darn cool. So even the foreman can use it. You know, she's not tall. But anyway, that also makes this thing super, super versatile by being adjustable like that. And all of the um, fasteners that have a nut on there. It is a, a nylon lock nut. So that's, that was something that was uh, a little, uh, that was actually unexpected. I was pretty, pretty uh, surprised about that. And the manufacturer is Enjoy Wood. It's 48 inches. Long. <laughs> 48 inches long by 20 inches wide. Um, 1.2 inch. It's about a half point six. So inch and a quarter and and then about three about half an inch or so um now it does the top shelf says it will hold two thousand pounds and the bottom shelf says 500 so total combined 2500 well realistically the car could, or the the car could be held up by the workbench um pretty darn cool right there uh, the retail on it is $249.99 on Amazon. There'll be a link down there. Uh, but enjoy what is the manufacturer. We got it from Banggood. I will appreciate the, say, we appreciate you sending this to us for the, um, for the review, uh, unboxing and putting it together in the review. Uh, stay tuned because we are going to be putting this thing through its paces. Um, kind of have an idea that we're going to be putting it maybe right there. And making this just our metal workstation for uh, this guy. <laughs> that was crazy. Anyway, enjoy wood. Two forty nine ninety nine on the Amazon. Check, click that link. This is Honest Paint and Speed Shop approved. Um, we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, little video review and put together and I mean it's super simple I didn't have any problems everything fit together fine the only thing that was a little bit slow was putting the big bolt down in the feet or where the feet go because there was some paint in the thread so if you got a thread chaser just zing it down in there and pull it back out or just take your time um, and you really only need a few tools now I had the impact it's over there yeah, right there. And then I used a three quarter, a half inch, Phillips screwdriver, stubby, hex keys, and 932nd. And the tape measure just to show you what was going on. That's all I used. I didn't go nuts and, or anything like that. There are extra parts for it. Hey, what the heck was that? There are extra parts that come in the bag. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, thanks so much for uh, watching. Also, thanks again to uh, Banggood. Uh, hopefully we can keep working together. This was a lot of fun. Um, 
and uh, go check them out. Um, I don't, you will not be disappointed in the, in this at all. I mean, it's very sturdy. So until next time, maybe we'll be hitting this with a hammer the next time you see it. Uh, anyway, keep on ranching kids.